Hey YouTube, this is Shane, the Rise and Grind Picker. Welcome guys and gals. And thank you for being a subscriber, first off, if you're here. And second, thank you for viewing if you're not. So, <clears throat> this is a... So I'm the Rise and Grind Picker and I'm Shane. And this, and on my channel, we, we, we like kind of dissect on how to build businesses, how to, how to, how to have a business or <laughs> help yourself in a business and also how to make serious side cash side hustles stuff like that hacks that will make your life a little easier and maybe i don't know just make you excel in business and the second thing is i released a storage unit video where i bought a 23 dollars storage unit a little while ago and people had some questions about it like how long have you been buying storage units like like, what do you find in them sometimes? Like, different questions that I had the answers to, but they were just unique. Like, I like how people are very interested in storage units. I am having an adult beverage. Um, it is that time of day, so it's not the morning. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon. So I, I just want to address people's, like, Kind of thought process on storage units because there might be some resellers out there that's too afraid to buy a storage unit or they might just not they might think it's more hassle than than relatively it's going to pay off um and sometimes that is the case like i'm not saying that you're going to profit on every storage unit i'm not going to say that you're going to profit on any of them you just got to use your knowledge and part of using your knowledge okay part of using your knowledge on how to buy a storage unit is it's not judging people but how to assess a situation okay how to assess a situation and i can tell you this right now a lot of the cheaper storage units that you will buy in your career as a storage unit buyer i've been buying storage units since like 2005 I've bought storage units that I've made $6,000 on, and I've bought storage units that I've lost $500 on. But what I can tell you is the best way, if, you, if you're really interested, like if you're really interested in buying storage units, and it is an interesting thing that you want to do, okay, then my advice to you is to go a little and buy a, a little bit like cheaper storage unit and try it out. But what I can tell you is there's one, one thing in storage units that they have all in common together. And that's because someone couldn't afford to pay for them. So keep that in mind and let it sink in. Someone could not afford to pay for that storage unit. And that is why it is, they're losing it. Okay. Now, once that's sinking in and sunken in your head, now put the factors in inside it okay so if i'm looking at a storage unit that's typically super messy and just disheveled okay it could mean they either moved in a hurry it's a college student or they didn't care about their stuff those are three like huge factors in what could happen because honestly that's probably one of those is probably the case okay and if it's taken care of and nice and neat they may have actually had or have good stuff in there they wanted to take care of. And or they just, they weren't disheveled, they weren't, you know, a young kid, or they weren't in a hurry, they actually cared about their stuff. If they're in a hurry, odds are is they're probably, they probably could have gotten evicted out of the house. Anything could be the instance. So for me, I kind of want to share this last storage unit that I bought. Um, if I can figure out how to put the video in this video, I will link it right here. I got to figure that out. It's I know it has to do with like cards and stuff. So I got to kind of figure it out. But if I do put this up, it'll be like right here in the corner. So anyways, what I can tell you is, is this, okay? Is the storage unit I bought was $23. I knew it wasn't going to be a huge profit. I knew I probably wasn't going to find a ton of great stuff in there. It was going to be probably bread and butter stuff, nothing huge. And the reason I can tell you that is because I kind of, by looking at that unit, I could tell the type of person that had that unit, okay? And 
it was very messy, very disheveled, very thrown about. Which means either A, they were moving in a hurry. They may have lost their house. They may have some, some, some life event could have led them to move very quickly. They could have been a college student because typical college students will take keep storage units and then they don't really care a whole lot about their stuff. So they'll just throw it in there. Once they go back home for the summer, they tend to let it. Um, and I live in a predominant like college community and I colleges are all around me. So a lot of the towns I've been in storage units will have a big colleges there. Well, if they like have money and they don't care, they'll just let usually let their union go back and they'll let them sell it and they're not going to care about it. So that is the second typical thing. Okay, the third typical thing that could happen is they just don't have nothing of value in the unit and they don't care about protecting it. So this typical unit was very disheveled. I could I couldn't really see a whole lot of stuff in it. But my expertise told me it could have been one of those three things. So since I got it at $23, I actually didn't care. So the reason I didn't care, it had a ton of clothes in it and stuff like that. I figured I'll at least make my money back, but I, I know I'm going to profit a little bit off this unit. Um, I haven't really like added up the whole profit, but I think what I'll do is probably end up profiting like maybe 60 bucks off this unit. So it really wasn't, I mean, it was a small unit. It took me like 30 minutes to clean it out. There wasn't a lot of risk involved. But what I can tell you is this, okay? Is my expertise told me this is like the three things that could, could have happened. So it either has maybe a little bit of good stuff in it or it's all crap or, or something. So keep in mind what I said earlier is that type of person, okay? That type of person exists in, 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 in our society. They exist, okay? So you have to really get dig deep in the psychology of what could be happening, what could be going on, what could be, it's all about psychology. And you can't really overanalyze it because overall, go with your gut. Bid on it. If your gut tells you to bid on it, just do it. Just bid on it. So in this unit, funny story is I had some Timberlands, brand new Timberlands, okay? I found in this unit and it had one shoe. I couldn't find the freaking other one. It wasn't in there. I had some really nice Nikes <laughs> that I could only find one. The other one wasn't in there. I think I pulled some Nike track shoes out of there that I will be able to sell. Um, other than that, I found like a bunch of DVDs, like a huge tote of DVDs. I found a little bit of clothing I could sell, but a lot of it was crap. And so what I'm going to tell you is I, I'm going to share a story from this, from this unit. I have some personal belongings, but I'm not going to tell you any names. I'm not going to tell you a street address. I'm not going to tell you anything, but it did come from the Champaign County jail. I have everything marked out on it. And this is what I mean about getting in the psychology. If you buy a storage unit, I'm not saying go through their checks and a lot of their personal stuff, but if you see something that you think you could use to better your knowledge, read it. I mean, it, you bought the unit overall. You might say this is probably, well, I, I would never do that, but honestly, like anything that's, that is very personal, I will either destroy it or I will give it back to the storage unit place. Now, why I say destroy it is because even if like there's some storage unit places that literally don't care, they will not take it. And why I say that is I actually had bought a storage unit in one place and I had a bunch of these like old checks in it and this guy had like some, some paperwork in it. And I'm like, Hey, I want to give this back to the guy. Like, can you, can I leave it here? And maybe you guys contact him. And he's like, well, he died. And I'm like, okay. And they literally wouldn't take it. And they said, we don't have a contact for a family member. That's why we're auctioning off the unit. They had no family to contact. How bad is that when they don't have any family to contact? And so I had to just burn it. But you're like thinking like, wow, like some of this stuff is mind blowing if you've never done this. And if you've never bought storage units, you're in for a treat. So what I can say about that is um, a lot of banks will take back old checks and destroy them for you. So you can go to any bank and usually turn in old checks and stuff like that and get them destroyed. I tend to do that. If not, if no one will take it, I'll burn it. I have a burn, a little burn thing and I'll burn it. So 
but that's a little bit about storage units, it's a little bit about like the knowledge behind that. But what I want to show you or what, what I want to read to you is this. It came from the Champaign County Jail and there is two letters in here and I just want to read a little bit of them. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not going to mention any personal information, but I want to show you the mindset of some people that just fall on bad circumstances or maybe their unit, they lost it because... They just didn't have money. And so this is the thing is, um, this guy writes, Hello, wife of mine. I hope this letter finds you in the best of spirits. Although mine are at an all-time low due to the lack of communications from you, what's going on? Please don't tell me you tapered out all already. I need you to have my back right now. You are my sole light in this darkest of dark i can't really read it very well because the writing isn't great and spelling is kind of bad do you not know just a few words from your brightens my day literally not hearing from you um i know you aren't capable of holding me down financially and that doesn't bother me i need your emotion emotionally to stand by me and now more cues a letter a card or something would go a long way so it seems like this guy fell on circumstances. He got arrested. He got locked up. He's awaiting trial. But he knew his wife didn't have money. So he knew she did not have money financially to support their family. So why he went to jail is none of my business. I mean, I'm just doing... I, I bought their storage unit. It had did have some pictures in there. Um, some stuff like that. I couldn't give any of it back to the storage unit place. They would not accept it. And a lot of places won't because they're like, they don't care. If you don't pay for your stuff, they don't care. They don't want it back. They want the unit literally cleaned out and they don't care what happens to the stuff. They don't want to see it. They don't want it at all. They want it cleaned out and they want that unit being able to rent out again. In my case, in 48 hours, that place I've dealt with several times and they want their, their units clean in 48 hours because they want to rent it out again. <laughs> this place operates at full capacity pretty much year round because it is a very busy college town. So they don't care. They want it cleaned out. They want it gone. They don't, they don't want it back and they will tell you no. Like you just need to destroy it. So I, I literally have to destroy this stuff because I can't give it to them. Um... So if you don't want to be with me anymore, tell me that if you want to super rate till I get out or separate till I get out and say, just leave me without a word is not the cruelest, cruelest thing you have done before. Um, so it just seems like he's going on and on about um, basically what she can do when he's in jail and what, you know, or what not. Um, has Tubby spent the night yet? I don't know if that's her boyfriend or not. I don't know. Did they turn the gas on yet? Did you get the rent money? If not, did you talk to Irvin about it? He will help. So it sounds like they've had their gas shut off. They've had their electric shut off. They've lost their house or possibly are going to lose their house. Here's another letter. It was dated a little bit. I don't know. I think after or before. Today I write you with a wet face and heavy heart best summed up with the lyrics love don't hold no or love don't have nobody i love you so much it literally hurts i have consistently put your wants needs desires before my own and compromise myself we've today we've been married exactly 589 days as of today, yet I've been completely alone for at least 400 of them. And you know what? This is like this stuff is what everyday people struggle with. Like that could be my storage unit. That could be your storage unit. So that's the thing is I read these because and, and I want to share this with you guys because like I, I read this stuff because I, it helps me kind of get my perspective on life and business and it grounds me. And I'm not saying it to be cruel. I'm just saying it because sometimes, like, sometimes you need to wake up and see how people live. And 
I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've been through struggles. I've been through a lot of struggles. And I'm telling you right now is like, this is like the all time lowest of struggles. I've been through a lot of struggles and I currently go through struggles all the time. And so this is like nothing new to me. And that's what, I mean, this is why I resell is because I, I, it's all about the hustle. It's all about getting money, gaining money, building your business. But I'm not going to lie. I have struggled before and I've struggled a lot before. Um, so it says my beliefs are not standing on the moral code I set for myself for quite some time now. I've been known in my heart of hearts. You don't know have you ever loved me. You only love the fact that I love you and in that one thing I am dependable. If you truly love me, you could never ignore the fact that I'm in need and no, no, not in the position to provide for myself. So it seemed like he's maybe asking some for some money. You wouldn't put being high or drunk over me having soap and toothpaste. I would never even consider putting my vices, weed, liquor over you or the kids. So it seems like they're they're both heavy drinkers. They're both drug users, and. I mean, weed, I mean, it is what it is. Like, a lot, it's legal now in a lot of places, but let's get real, it still costs money. And if you're buying weed on the street, it still costs money, no matter what. So they have some, they have some demons, we all do. Um, you wouldn't put a being higher drunk over me, I could never consider putting my vices. You so broke and worried about where, I can't really read it very well, it's not... I don't really, we haven't seen each other in 44 days. So he's been locked up for 44 days. And a fraction of that love back I stayed because I know you've been just as hurt as I have. I eventually came through so I know you can too. Um, so money. So my perspective, you got some money for weed, money for squares, money for... I think it says politics, but I don't think it says, or party, parties, oh, parties, money to go to garage sales, but don't got 99 cents so I can get soap. Okay. Looks like his wife is a big garage sale. Um, I get soap for $3 and 79 cents, so I cannot get toothpaste $4 and nine cents. So I can get soap. That's $8 and 87 cents. So much, so much love. But when I was sleeping on park benches, literally, Starving, I never hesitated to give you all the bread I had with my dumb ass. Even recently, I'm in here stressing. So it seems like they were both homeless at one point. And so sometimes it's hard to break people of what they know. You know what I mean? And I say this because I look at this a little bit differently. Like, I look at this as knowledge. Like... I seen how that unit was and I kind of, I, I nailed it. Like I, I had three things and I said, these are the three things that this unit could be. And it was, they, he's in jail. Uh, the wife is taking back over the household and she has to run everything, but she's getting stoned and she's getting drunk all the time. So it's hard for her to do anything and then she won't give him any money because she probably don't have any money at all anyway. Cause she's obviously let her storage unit, you know, go back to the storage unit place and she couldn't pay for it. So with that being said, like this is the type of thing where I know the situation you guys don't and why I want to make this a little bit. I mean, this might be a little longer video. I'm shooting for like 30 minutes, but we'll see. But what I'm trying to say, and it's really garbled in my head. Like I know for a fact, because I know, but you guys, like you all don't know. And so for me, what I want to say is like, when I look at a unit and a storage unit's very disheveled, like I bought, and you can go back and look at the video, it looked pretty bad. It didn't look good. And that was one of the things I'm like, something has bad has happened to them in their life. It's something. I just looked at seven pictures online and could tell that to a novice, like storage unit buyer that's never bought a storage unit. He thinks he, I mean, he or she could think that that's normal. 
So what I mean is like, they're like, this is a great unit. It has stuff in it, but that's necessarily not the case. So that's why you got to look at everything tenfold and you got to think, okay, so what could have went on in this person's life to get them here losing their storage unit? So it's a lot of psychology. It's a lot of reading people and I'm good at that. I mean, I have a bachelor's in criminal justice. I work in facets of law enforcement and stuff like that. So, I mean, for me, like... It's just normal to read people, but I love buying and selling stuff online. I love storage units. And storage units are a lot of work. Like, they're not easy. But it's super, it pays off if you score. It's like the lottery. It pays off if you hit the big jackpot. But if you don't, then you don't, it, it doesn't pay off. So just keep that in mind. You just need to keep this in mind. Keep in mind what the unit looks like, how they take care of stuff. Um, I've been doing this for since 2005. I love buying storage units, stuff like that. And I mean, honestly, that's the thing is you just got to be wary of stuff that happens around you and what it looks like. Don't forget, this could happen to you too. So you just got to have a little bit of empathy um, and know what you're buying. This is Shane the Rising Grand Picker. And if you like videos on business, motivation, I mean, and I've been wanting to do a, like a yard sale or a garage sale right along. So that might be coming up maybe next weekend. I don't know for, sh for sure, but we're going to figure it out. But don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Peace out.